Hi there, my name is Anna. Welcome to the first class of Geometry Astrology and Introduction to Geometry Astrology. And today, uh, in our first lesson, we're going to talk about our fractal reality and mirroring existence. Um, the reason I choose this topic is because before we can talk about uh, my understanding of astrology, I think we have to establish the premise of astrology, why it is valid. And um, to me, it is very important to learn something that we know is valid, that not just somebody say, oh, it is true and it is true, but we understand why it is valid. So um, in the very beginning, we know there is the source and it is the one, it is the everything, it is only one. And, um, but all comes into existence with an image. Because, um, for example, if we have never seen a chair before, and it's the first time we see a chair, we will not know it is a chair. We will be like, what is this? And therefore, the chair is no longer a chair, it is just an object. And it is not valid as a chair. You know, its existence as a chair is not valid. Because we, the beholder, does not have an image of the chair. Of what it is. So, and in order to further illustrate this example of how it is linked to the image of the source, then let's um, let me just present this analogy. Okay, so if this is a source, and okay, imagine that um, there's a circle in the vast space of nothingness. So one day this circle comes into awareness and consciousness and think that okay, so uh, who am I? I think I am a circle, I know I am a circle, but my claim that my uh, I'm a circle is not valid. You know, I have a lot of... Because, um, because there's no image of a circle to validate my claim as a circle. I, mean, I can say that I'm a triangle, it will not be invalid. Because there's no other triangle around to say that, hey, I am the legit triangle and you are the fake triangle, you are not a triangle. You know, there's no other consciousness to mirror me or to give me an image. Therefore, even though I know I'm a circle, but my existence as a circle is not valid. It is only when there is another circle, there is an image of me. And it says, hey, you know, uh, I'm a circle, I'm in the middle, and then you know, I have a radius, and we are the same. And that is, uh, let, us, let us agree that we are circles. And so then... Both of our existence become valid because we are image of each other. So if I can come to a triangle and say, hey, I'm a circle and the triangle asks, so what, what, why do you say you are a circle? And I say, no, no, there's another circle there. We are the same and we're both circles. So only with the image, uh, something becomes valid. The existence of something becomes valid. Otherwise, it would not be that. So then it comes to the source. So if the source is there, it is everything, it is harmony and discordant, it is beauty or asymmetry and symmetry. But it can it knows it knows it is that, but uh, the claim that the claim that it is all those is not valid because there is no image of it. You know, I'm just I'm this, but it is not valid. I can as well say I'm not I am not everything, I am just beauty or harmony and and that will not be invalid but that will not be true that will not be real because I know I'm everything so it is it only happens then it has to create images of itself and um, and what's more complex to me I feel that at this stage I can only understand it as fractals that of course it does not, uh, I'm sure there is a process of how one becomes two, two becomes three, and three becomes everything, but I do not know how exactly that comes about. I can only say that, well, at this stage, I know that it is, it is uh, in the image of fractals, that it is here, yes, and it creates within itself, because it is already everything, there is nothing outside of it, so it creates within itself the infinity mirrors of itself, so all these circles are image of it. And we, this is us, that we as ourselves, we are self-similar to the source. Oops, I'm distracted by the phone. <laughs> mm. No! Sorry. Okay, it has to happen. 
So we are so similar to the source. And it's not that uh, we complete each other or uh, I have to combine with you or combine with every, everybody that my existence is only part of the source, but we are complete images of the source. And not only us, but everything within creation, which means that this space-time is also an image of the source and is self-similar to us. Which to me, it makes complete sense because everything it, it is, a, is an image. If it's self-aware, if it's consciousness, then it is an image. It's just how much we are aware of it, how much we tap into the potential. So, because this space-time is intelligent, it is a fractal of the source and it is a fractal of us. And it reflects our consciousness and desires. That we can manifest things into existence, that we can, with our consciousness, that we can change. We can change things, we can change our future by our free will. And it's always an interaction between us and this reality. And to me, um, astrology is a way then to, to, is the artifice of a mirror that, hey, this is what uh, this reality is reflecting to me, where I am and who I think I am, where I am going. Because, you know, for all energies within the will, within the natal chart, they can all be chosen by us to manifest. It's like genes that we can express certain things and we can choose not to express certain things. And it is and even in the natal chart, it's how it, the, all the energy that's manifested within this reality reflects our desires and our choices. So coming to the summary, so why is our reality a fractal? Because the source creates images of itself as a reflection of itself to validate its existence. And this reflection is infinite within the finite one. And that's the beauty of fractal because you can have infinity within finite. And so this reality is a fractal of the source. It is self-intelligent. It is aware. And we are also a fractal of the source. And therefore, we are fractals of each other. And in that layer, in a very small layer, they reflect who we are according to our awareness and our consciousness and desires. And therefore, uh, things that we express from the natal chart and everything we can understand from the natal chart reflects the soul's desires. And so by reading, by being able to read the stars, it is being able to read a reflection of ourselves. And when we read the natal chart for other people, then it's to, to help them see the image of uh, who they wanted to be or their desires. Thank you, and uh, if this is the le end of lesson one. Um, it's my pleasure to share this lesson with you and looking forward to the next lesson. Blessings. Wish you a great day.